Subscribe. Hey guys, how you doing? So that you're about to watch has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, but I just decided just to, you know, hear me talk while you watch something very interesting. Just it caught my eye. I'm telling you, my brother, he tells me, he tells me where to look. But um hope you enjoy this video and please like and subscribe. Before I start, um, I don't know what happened with my computer. I mean, I, my daughter's not here. She's the IT person, not me. She's not here. She's out living her best life, okay? So, I don't know where the videos are at. And they were actually in support of Princess and Banada. But you know what I decided? You know what? Uh, I'm not going to release them. I'm not going to release them because of this whore that I just talked to. Okay. Okay, so today... I just had a little useless conversation with somebody who was in support of Princess Empanada. So I don't have, it's not that I have anything against her in K. I don't have anything against her. I don't even know her. I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody. I think she kind of has bigger fish to fry than what people think of her and what people on the internet are saying about her only have Chris's narrative and the um, everybody else is hiding um, leave him alone has privileges and apparently his interview is being hidden somewhere how nice is that for you and if you have a problem with it why don't you say something being silent for three years the crowd is kind of turning in Chris's favor um, you know you've been lawyered up you know I'm sure you're paying a retainer might as well put them to work what the hell have they been doing this whole time comes off very, I'm going to have my peasants do it and not myself. I'm not going to get my hands dirty. I'm going to make other people do it. And I'm not going to take accountability for what I may have participated in or not. I don't know. There's like a handful of creators that will refuse to say anything bad about you. Why don't you go have a little interview and just say your piece if you don't want to go through the attorneys. Because that's probably going to be expensive. I don't know what your money situation is right now. I don't know. How... The thing that has stuck out to me the most is he transferred fast, like so fast. I want to say it's like a 90 day waiting period when you apply and you have to meet certain criteria criteria to transfer out like that. Okay. And when you don't, um, it's usually rejected. Because it's, it's not, you know, just because you're Chris Watts, you get to move. When they don't meet the criteria, the sending prison has to speak on their behalf on why it's very important that they move this way for whatever reason. On how they switched him over that fast and they said he was getting threats. How was he getting threats? If he, if he said he didn't talk to anybody and he was in the hole the whole entire time. They didn't take him out till a week prior, I believe, is what they said. Or something like that. Where were these threats coming from? The voices in his head? Like what? I mean. Come on people. And there's a 90 day 30. A 60 or 90 day waiting period. And that's after your sentence. Then you submit the paperwork. And then when you. Then you're. He would have been rejected. So then he would have had to have. The sending prison. Because it has to go prison to prison. So was it the county jail people. That sent it. Also. The prison that he was moved to. Was like. It's a rehab. OK, they have a lot of great programs there at that prison to rehabilitate um, the criminals. The only reason he would need rehabilitation is if he's going to be let out. OK. Just saying. <laughs> and I do believe there might be some guilt on her end because you have to look at the bigger picture. OK, why in the world would somebody's father want to help him? Is it a coincidence that leave him alone lives there? I don't think it's a coincidence. 
Why would somebody else's parents do that? Cover up for Chris Watts. And if it is true, if Dwayne the Rock Kessinger is pulling strings for Mr. Watts, then that would prove that it's a lie that they've only known each other six weeks and they had this six weeks world romance. Like, that would be a lie and that would confirm it. So if he gets off, then where does that leave you? Because remember, there's no statute of limitations for murder, so you have that going for you also.